Well, I'm Billy Miller. I'm a Melbourne musician and mad St Kilda supporter. And this is my faithful hound, Jed, who is my muse. He knows everything. He knows lots about footy too. And that's a bloke over there starting his truck up just as we're about to start recording. But we don't care about that, Jed, because we're happy with whatever goes on down here at the Junction Oval, St Kilda. We're going to go to all the 12... Old VFL grounds, the old VFL before they made it the AFL and brought in those imposters from interstate. You don't like them, do you, Jed? He only likes the Melbourne sides. I've got a Jedlock. People call it a dreadlock somewhere, but I call it me Jedlock. This is after him. It's going to be there a long time after he's gone. I'm going to stand up now. We're going to have a quick look at the mighty Junction Oval home of the St Kilda Football Club till 1965. We're just standing here on probably the best turf in the whole AFL. Why aren't they using this ground? I don't know. It's just brilliant. Look at it. Beautiful day. We've got the old uh, Kevin Murray stand behind us. Of course, that was named after Kevin Murray. It was formerly named after a bloke called Duncan. But when Fitzroy moved here to play in the late 70s, they named it the Kevin Murray stand after him. That's all right. We're St Kilda supporters. We don't mind sharing it round. There's nothing wrong with Fitzroy. You look around a bit to the right there. You've got the Blackie Ironmonger stand, hey? Have a look at that. Great wicketkeeper for Australia. And they named the step because this is the St Kilda cricket ground, not the St Kilda football ground. Most of the grounds, the old 12 grounds were owned by the cricket club or run by the cricket club and the, and the football teams will just use it during the winter now. I'm looking around here. It's a beautiful day here. I first started coming to this ground in 1956. I'd stand over there on my dad's shoulders just behind the goals. We'd, we'd walk down Punt Road. We lived just up the road. I was four years old. I came to my first game here. I remember a bloke called Box. Footscray. Peter Box, I think he won the Brownlow medal that year. He was starring that day. And after the game, because my dad trained with the Saints and he played with uh, Sandy, he knew some of the St Kilda boys and we went over to the club rooms over there. We'll see a picture of it later on. And I got to meet Billy Stevenson, the great Billy Stevenson. I couldn't believe it. I went into this room, all my bloody heroes. It was just great playing here. Year after year, I'd just walk down. We'd have a Savaloy for lunch and then walk down to the football. So uncomplicated. 12 teams, six games every Saturday. And this is probably the best surface out of the lot. An absolute ripper. And you come down here with your dad. It's just fantastic. This is the Junction Oval home of the mighty saints. We went to Moorabbin in 65, won our flag the year after that. But even before then, Stuart and Baldock were starring here. Big Carl played his first game here as a 17-year-old. It was best on the ground in the ruck against, against Melbourne. Best on the ground. This is the great Melbourne side. We've had some great moments down here. Kevin Roberts on the half-forward flank. Beautiful raking drop kicks. You don't see them anymore. It's just fantastic here. Jed, he's almost, this is a religious experience for Jed. Look at him down there. He's like the Sphinx or something. He'd just stay here for the rest of his life if he could, wouldn't you, mate? That's right. But we can't stay here forever, Jed. We've got to go off to the other grounds, the Brunswick streets and that. So I'm going to sign off now from the Junction Oval and uh, I'll just stand here and contemplate for a while.